classroom, this great church, the first lady, the youth pastor, his wife, and Elder Lockridge uh, for the invitation. And to all of the youth, the older youth, and the oldest youth. Because everybody is here. Give us something to do. Amen. Praise Jesus. Okay. I'll pray briefly. Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit will give me everything that needs to be said. You know exactly what it is that your people need. And it's not what I think. So I pray that every mind, heart, and spirit will be open to receive your word. And I bind every evil work of the enemy. And I thank you, Lord, that you are loosening, Lord, your wisdom, your peace, your patience, God, and freedom in the spirit. I bind every demon, devil, hex, spell, and incantation in the name of Jesus. I bind all spiritual wickedness in high places, the rulers of the darkness of this world, and all power, authorities, dominions, thrones that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God and the word of God to come forth today, God. We give you all glory and ask all these things in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. 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 The theme for today is endure. Can somebody say endure? Endure. endure. So in Matthew 24 is where our text is taken from. You can go there with me. And stand please for the reading of the word. Amen. Everybody is standing. We have legs to stand, so we are going to stand. We are so grateful. And I'm going to keep talking until everybody is standing. Hallelujah. Because the angels stand guard to watch the word of the Lord go forth. So we're going to do on earth as it is in heaven. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now the word of the Lord says this. In the King James Version it says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. I'll read it one more time. But he... 13. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Matthew 24, verse 13. Yes. Matthew 24... 13, 24, 13. Amen, yes. do we all have it? Yes. Are we all there? Yes. Amen, here we go again. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Yes. You may have your seats. Preach the word, Tay. Now in Matthew 24, Jesus is speaking directly to uh, his disciples, answering their questions about his coming and the signs that will show the end of the world. Jesus tells of the temple destruction. He warns about false Christ. He foretells about affliction, betrayal uh, that will happen for the sake of the gospel of the kingdom. He reminds them of the abomination of desolation, the changes that are to take place within the weather and in the heavenlies. And lastly, he instructs them to remain faithful and to be ready at any hour. Somebody say endure. endure. Jesus was so gracious to leave us with countless warnings and answers to questions that not only disciples have, but that we could have, uh, that we may have um, as well. Jesus gave specific descriptions and details about the order of the events, and um, the average person listening in on Jesus addressing his disciples will probably think, um, will probably not want to continue to walk with him because of all of the, the things that seem so negative that are to come before the end of the age and before, before his second coming. But somebody say, endure. endure. When you read uh, through this chapter and allow God to reveal to you, you actually see the love of Christ that is exemplified here by this forewarning and by putting us up on game, basically, so we know what to accept and how to prepare. Somebody say endure. endure. I don't know about you, but I thank God for that Christ, that for that Christ love, uh, uh, that he loved us so much that, um, excuse me. <coughs> He would take the time to forewarn us and give us a heads up on what we will need to endure for him. Amen. Now, when you first get saved, sometimes you may not fully understand or know what it means to endure, or you're not sure uh, about what it is that you're wanting to have to endure. Oftentimes, when salvation is presented, the presentation is not always accurate. On one hand, salvation is presented in a way that seems as if nothing is required of you as a believer, and that life will be a breeze, and you're going to get everything you ever wanted, you hoped, and dreamed for. And then on the other hand, salvation is presented as a life of pure hell, filled with suffering and struggle. Well, both presentations are wrong. Salvation, as we know, is freely given to us by grace through faith. Somebody say, by grace, by grace. through faith. So, however, enduring and maintaining that salvation that was freely given will cost you something and possibly your life. There are times in our walk where we will suffer greatly for him, and there are other times when we will prosper and enjoy the blessings of the Lord. I want to make the distinction early on that getting saved and enduring unto the end are two different things. 
A lot of folks come down to the altar and they get saved, but don't know how to live saved lifestyles, and they don't know how to improve them. They're not sure, am I doing this for Christ? Do I have to go through all this? I change my mind. No thanks, Jesus. I wait till I'm on my deathbed and I'm about to die, and then I'll say the Lord's Prayer. Okay? So let's find out what it means to endure. Can somebody say endure? Endure. The scripture today, again, is taken from Matthew 24, 13. I'm going to read it so it can be stuck in your good, great mind. And it says in the King James Version, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Uh -huh. Now in this verse, the word endure is the Greek word hupo mino. Yeah, so now can you say hupo? Hupo mino. Mino. Now make sure you say it in your best Greek accent, though, because that's the original language it was written in. So say, who bo me no? Who bo me no? Now you can tell somebody, I'm bilingual. Turn to your neighbor and say, you know I'm a bilingual Christian. I'm educated. <laughs> hey, hey. So now, yes, yeah. all of you educated and bilingual believers in Christ Jesus, let's say it together. Who bo me no? Let's try it again, because we wasn't with one accord. Who bo me no? Let's try one more time. Who bo me no? You bilingual believers, you got it. Uh, 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 
candidate to run this race against the tortoise. But lo and behold, lo and behold, 